executive order today targeting countries and people who use technology to crack down on dissent. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel tells us the move is aimed squarely at Iran and Syria. National sovereignty is never a license to slaughter your people. At the Holocaust Museum, President Obama spoke of efforts being made by the United States to prevent future atrocities in places like Syria. Today, the president also acted on his own to counter 21st century tools used by some of the world's most brutal regimes. I've signed an executive order that authorizes new sanctions against the Syrian government and Iran and those that abet them for using technologies to monitor and track and target citizens for violence. U.S. officials say the regime of Bashar al-Assad is increasingly using technology to disrupt, monitor, and track communications networks and social media used by opposition groups. Social media and cell phones have proven to be effective tools in organizing against brutal leaders. Senator John McCain applauded Mr. Obama for trying to stop atrocities, but says he isn't going far enough. Quote, ultimately ending violations of conscience requires the political will and moral courage of world leaders, especially the president of the United States. Unfortunately, that will and leadership are lacking in the case of Syria today. So far, international pressure has not stopped Assad and his government from killing more than 11,000 of their own people. On Saturday, the U.N. Security Council voted to authorize sending up to 300 unarmed military monitors into Syria, and advanced teams are already at work. You see, we have a task to do, and we are clearly focused on the task. Though there appears to be evidence of the regime shelling locations away from the observer teams. U.N. leaders have been hoping that expanded observer force would help stop the killing and allow conditions for a legitimate political process. So far, a top U.N. official told the Security Council today human rights violations are still perpetrated with impunity, and he called this a pivotal moment in Syria. Brett? More on this with the panel. Mike, thank you. Defense Secretary claims that it has recovered data from a U.S. spy drone that went down in Iran last year. Officials in Tehran claim they are building a copy of that drone. Fox News has just learned Iran is making overtures to the Chinese to potentially give them access to the sensitive drone technology. Meanwhile, someone has launched a cyber attack on an Iranian oil facility. The virus infected the control panels of Iran's largest crude oil export plant. Iranian state TV quotes officials there insisting there is no permanent damage.